Hey gang, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to start demo on this bathroom. We're gonna completely remodel it. So let me walk you right through it and we'll get started. So starting up here, we have this old fluorescent light. I'm sure there was a, an acrylic lens here at some point that's gone. We're gonna remove all that. The mirror goes, the vanity goes, all the tile goes. Over here, we're gonna get rid of this door. We take our king stud all the way up and demo all this. So this wall will be flush there. And then we need this wall for the tub. We're gonna move all this electric over here to my left. And here, we're gonna complete demo the tub and the surround and the toilet. Basically, the only thing that's gonna be left is the drywall. So let's get started. So I've already started over here on the medicine cabinet. I want to remove this first so it's so the face frame was out of the way of the mirror. Let's go ahead and just finish it. I've got one nail left right there. That's it. So now that we got the medicine cabinet out of the way, let's get this mirror out of here. No money?
Hey guys, right now we're going to remove this old cast iron tub. Tubs that go in an alcove like this are either right handed, the drains on the right, or they're left handed, drains on the left. Obviously this is a right handed tub. First thing we're going to do is remove the waste and overflow and the drain. I have a tool for this, but I forgot it. So let's see if we get lucky. I'm going to use these uh, end nippers. The tool has a cross that fits down in here between those spokes. Um, make sure you stay tuned and the install video will show you what it looks like. I want to see if I can get those handles to go in there. Okay, I'm in. And let's see. Okay, there it it's turning. You saw it? Yeah. There we go. All right, here we go. So let's come around here. So you could just cut it right here. This is the overflow. And then this down here is the actual drain. And that's your stopper. So when you operate the lever, this rises and falls and blocks the, the water flow. Hmm. And then you see these slots in the bottom. So if the water starts to get up past here, it'll go into this pipe and drain. I guess in all the Hollywood movies that doesn't work because they always fill up. Right? Right. <laughs> and they overflow. <laughs> Usually with a dead person in, all right. All right, so let's uh let's suit up. We're gonna use a sledgehammer and break this cast iron tub out of here. I'm gonna take a series of blows right here and hopefully separate the apron, this part, from there. And we'll just take that thing apart. So we've got dust masks, safety glasses, and gloves. Probably should have a face shield. That's actually on my list to buy. So let's get these tools out of here, suit up, and start swinging. So this is, this is basically glass. It's a porcelain coating on a cast iron. Hmm. And that's what's shattering off. Be real careful. Right here, you got the upside down. Yep, it didn't matter. Last second, 84. 84. Yep. So if you're ever trying to date your house and you take the tub out, it's a good way. A lot of them are marked with the the date it was cast. 36 years. Yep. Good job. Let's, let's go get that tile out of there. All right, we're ready to start tearing up this tile. We're going to use uh, a pneumatic chipper. Come in different lengths. This one is 60 inches long. Uh, can you get the make and model? It's Pacific Pneumatics. I can't read the model number. Yeah, PS3B5. Yeah, and I got this from McMaster Car, McMaster.com. And you're, you're glad you have one. Yep. Right here. You're about to find out why. <laughs> uh, this bathroom is in the middle of the house. There is interior space all around us. So we went around and made sure the pictures were off the walls. And that there were no knickknacks on a shelf that might vibrate off 
while we're working in here. So that's already been done. And we also confirmed where the water shutoff is and we made sure it actually works just in case we slip or something and break a water line. So let's get going. There's a sure. little compressor, it's an old uh, DeWalt, uh, I think it's a 55155. It's 20 years old, it barely keeps up. But by the time it's ready for a break, so am I. <laughs> so let's get going. I'll show you the blade, just like a chisel. Sometimes when I'm working, I'll flip it one way or the other. Just sometimes it chips better in one way than it does the other. So let's see if we can get started here. All the tile is removed. We brought most of it outside. We put a little bit right here in the corner where the tub was. The next step is to get this thing set up. We're going to use the same tool and it works beautiful at that also. Now we would recommend a job like this to wear long pants, long sleeve shirts. You see that? Woo, that will get you. It's a megalodon too. already got me. Uh, but it's 105 outside, almost that inside, in Louisiana. So we're rocking the shorts. Yep. <laughs> so let's get this then set up, clean up, and that'll be it for demo. guys that's going to be a wrap on the demo on this bathroom so a couple of quick things about this scraper we're using it doesn't like operating on quarter inch air hose it just doesn't have the volume so i use at least a three eighths and the other thing is during your lunch break you can sharpen that with a side grinder easily this thing will last for forever it's about time for a grind isn't it yep so make sure you stay tuned. We're gonna update this bathroom from, well, 1984, right? Yep. To a modern bathroom. It's gonna have beautiful blue glass vessel sink. Don't, don't give away too much. All right, I won't, <laughs> all right. So if you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, leave us a comment down below. Loving all the feedback, and we'll see you on the next one. Let's go.